Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can use Power Query to unpivot data so that we can more easily use it in creating pivot tables. Sounds a bit confusing, but let's take a look and see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. We have just a data set here. I have four different sales agents. Um, and then months of the year, January through December for each one of them, and then their sales for 2013, 14, and 15. And this is in a pivot table type format where we have months and sales agents down in the rows and then the three different years in, for the columns. And what we need to do is turn this into a more tabular format so that we can use it to create pivot tables and analyze the data that way. Ultimately, what I'd like to have is the sales agents, the years, and then the months across the top so I can easily review it. But in order to do that, we have to convert this into a tabular type format. And so we're going to use Power Query to do that. Now, I'm not going to go a lot into what Power Query is or how to get it, etc. It was introduced in the last version or two of Excel. So you can do some research on that. I might put a link below in how to download uh, this option from Microsoft for Excel. But I'm just going to walk through how to use Power Query to accomplish what we want to do today. So the first thing we need to do with Power Query is really to convert this data into a table. Now we can do that or we can have Power Query do that. So I'll show you both ways. First of all, if I click on Power Query, here's all the areas that we can get our data from, from the web, from files, from uh, various sources here, or from a table. Now, even though this isn't a table, if I click From Table, Excel highlights the area and says, okay, where is the data for your table? And it identifies it and allows me to check my table has headers. I can say OK here, or I'm going to cancel this click in here and just hit control T to convert this to a table. Then once I do that, if I go to Power Query and say from table, I won't get that dialog box. It'll take me right into the Power Query editor. And it looks very similar to regular Excel. You have ribbons here, you have rows and columns, etc. Now what we want to do is we want to transform this data. So I'm going to go over to the Transform tab. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, use this command right here, which allows me to unpivot columns. Now, I have to select the columns I either want to pivot or I don't want to, or I want to unpivot, or I don't want to unpivot. So in this case, if I want to unpivot the three year columns, I'll hold down my control key and select those, and I would click on this and say unpivot columns. Alternatively, let's say there was 20 different ones I wanted to unpivot, I can click on the first two and say unpivot the other columns. So we're just going to do that. I'll say unpivot other columns. Now watch what Excel did. Excel now for each agent put in the month January three times and put the three different years worth of sales data here and showing it under the value column. So it took and unpivoted that data and put it into a more tabular format. So I can just double click into the heading here. I want to change this to year and do the same thing here to change this to sales. Now that I've done that, I want to bring it back into Excel so now I can create my pivot table. So to do that, I'll click on the Home tab and click on Close and Load. Excel now goes back to my Excel sheet, adds a new tab, Sheet 5 here, that has that data in that format. I can leave it like this, or I'm going to click into the uh, Year column go up to data and click A to Z and now it's sorted by year. And now within each year I have the month for each one of the salespeople. So now that I have that structured in that fashion, now I can go ahead and create a pivot table. I'm going to go ahead and close the workbook query here from Power Query and instead I'm just going to click on insert pivot table. I'll put it on a new worksheet 
And now I can just go through and create the pivot table like I wanted. I wanted to put the sales agents in the rows, months in the columns, and years below the agents, and then take sales, throw it in the values, and now I've created the pivot table like I wanted it. Each salesperson with each of the years there and the months going across the top, and I have grand totals both ways if I want to keep it in that format. I'm just going to go to design, change my report layout to tabular form so it looks in this fashion. So now I have the pivot table just as I wanted to format it, and I was able to use Power Query to unpivot the data that I had in my original format in order to make it easier so that I can put it in the layout that I'd like using pivot tables. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.